to. Just you need to do it. Yeah, make sure it's done. I'm not going to even worry about when it gets dark tomorrow because I'm right in front of the television watching all the NFL games. All right. See, so I go. don't even. I wouldn't even tell you when. There's a man with a is. positive attitude to yes. a fallback. See that now? <laughs> OSU is very positive these days. Not so good for OU. OU at Texas A&M, and it's a bad beginning for the Sooners at the very start. The snap over Landry Jones is head through the end zone. Two point safety. A&M would score a touchdown following the OU punt. Twelve nothing at the half. Aggies nineteen nothing at the start of the third because Coriel Judy gets it at the goal line and he gets some great blocking at the point of attack. Finds a wide open sideline. He is gone. One hundred yards. Nineteen nothing Aggies. Meanwhile, OU shut out up to this point. Only ten yards on the ground in the first half. Finally, OU on the board. A decent drive. Demarco Murray flies over the line of scrimmage and gets in the end zone. OU on the board for the first time. It's nineteen seven. Then an O'Hara field goal cuts the lead to nine. And following an interception, Jones gets his first touchdown pass of the night. Trey Franks makes the grab, and all of a sudden, it's a two-point game as we head to the fourth quarter. OU sets up for the field goal. It's a fake. John Nemo goes long for tight end James Hannon, and he drops it in the end zone. And the Aggies take full advantage of that drop, getting the ball back. Cyrus Gray breaks several sooner tackle attempts. The fake field goal failure turns into an A&M touchdown. Then Ryan Tannehill credit, credited with getting A&M back to, on top. Is this touchdown pass good or what? For the icing on the cake, OU's woes continue. OU stopped three separate possessions by AM with goal line stands. 33 19, your final. OU falls to 3 and 2, 7 and 2, Texas Tech next week. OSU is the new Big 12.